Hey y'all, this is Carly and I am here today with the fruity sampler that I ordered from the Rose Girls pre-order in I believe December. So hopefully prior to this I have already uploaded the bakery sampler that I previously filmed so I just didn't want the video to be super long so I uh, split the two samplers into two different videos. So this one is all fruity and I'm super glad that I went ahead and ordered this one so that everything will be nice and cured and ready to go for summer which will be here very soon in Texas. So I'll just go ahead and get started. So again, I don't have scent descriptions for these. I didn't look super hard, but I did look a little bit and didn't really find a scent description list. And I know that people ask on the page for certain scent blends all the time, so I'm not sure if there is a scent list or not, but most of these are self-explanatory. And for the ones that aren't, I'll just kind of try to describe what I smell as best I can. So this first one is Watermelon Passion Fruit. And again, her chunks are just absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I had to pause for a second there. My dog is playing on the bed next to me and he had dropped his toy off the bed. So I had to give it back to him or chaos would have ensued. So this one is Watermelon Passion Fruit. I don't necessarily get watermelon on its own. And I'm not really familiar with passion fruit, but this is just a really nice summery fruity blend. Let me see if I smell the bag, if I can specifically smell the watermelon. I can a little bit more from the bag. So again, I love taking out the chunks like this so that y'all can see them and I don't have to open a bunch of bags and stuff during the video. But then with all of the scents together, it is a little bit harder to smell without actually smelling the bag. But I do get more of that watermelon in the bag so that one will be really nice watermelon scents in my opinion are some of the best for spring and summer so this next one here is lemonade and rainbow sherbet it's a really pretty yellow chunk and again i usually cut these chunks in half or that's what i've been doing for the little bit of rose girls that i melted i used a whole chunk once and i couldn't smell it that well because it was too much wax and every time i've used half of a chunk it's been perfect in my mainstays warmer this one is extremely zesty and fruity very tart kind of a very tart lemonade and a very tart rainbow sherbet Again, really perfect for summer, which I'll try not to keep saying since that's probably the case with all of these. This next one is Girls Weekend. So this is one of the couple where a scent description would be nice. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but this is what the chunk looks like. And this one isn't quite so zesty or fruity. It's more of... It's more of kind of a bakery fruity scent, in my opinion. It's a lot sweeter. Let me smell the bag and see if I can tell any better. I don't know. I get a little bit of a lemon, maybe, but it's almost like a bakery lemon. That may be completely wrong. But this is more of a really, really sweet fruity. It's not quite as zesty. It's more of a deep, really sweet fruity scent. This next one is Strawberry Jam and Lemon Biscotti. Chunk of that. This one is so good. Definitely the main thing that I get is that Lemon Biscotti. And it's just a really nice, sweet, bakery lemon. I absolutely love that. And you can get just a tiny bit of the Strawberry Jam, but I mostly get that Lemon Biscotti. And it is such a good lemon. If you like lemon bakery scents, you would absolutely love this one. I get a little bit more of the jam when I sniff the bag, but it's still definitely mostly that lemon biscotti to me. This next one is Honeydew Lemonade. There's that one. And I think she's actually offering this one in her next pre-order that starts on February 1st. I believe she's doing mini melters, and I think this is one of the scents. And this definitely has 
kind of a light, that distinctive honeydew scent, but mostly lemonade to me with just a little bit of the honeydew. That one's really nice. Honeydew is not always a favorite scent of mine, but that one is really good because it's mostly the lemonade to me. This one is mango sorbet and pomegranate. So there's that one. And this one, I'm mostly getting kind of a really creamy mango scent. So I'm not sure what exactly it is that makes it the sorbet, but it's sort of creamy instead of a sharp fruity. Let me sniff the bag with this one too. See if I can tell any better. This does not want to open. There we go. Yeah, you can definitely get the pomegranate too, but I'm mainly getting just a really creamy mango. So that one is nice. Next, we have Grape Lick Me All Over. Really pretty purple chunk. And I know that not everyone is a huge fan of grape scents, but I really, really like this. I think this is actually the first grape scent that I've ever had in wax. And this smells kind of just like a grape Jolly Rancher to me. It's really sweet, you do, or like a grape lollipop or something maybe. Some type of grape hard candy is what this smells like to me. And it's really, really good. It's pretty sweet. It's not like a tart grape, but I really like that one. So if you like grape scents at all, I think you would enjoy that. The next one here is Kool-Aid Paradise Ginger Ale. There's that one. And this one, right off the bat, I get a little bit of that fizziness from the ginger ale. And then it's almost, I'm not sure what the Kool-Aid Paradise is, but I'm getting kind of a pomegranate-y scent. Like a grape or a pomegranate, some kind of a deep fruit like that with that fizzy ginger ale scent. It's not, too, it's not over the top fizzy, like it doesn't give you nose, kind of that fizzy, bubbly feeling uh on cold in my opinion but it's just enough fizzy that it's really nice it's like a fizzy fruity summer drink again with the to <laughs> again sorry about that I feel like I'm trying to film with like a toddler or something with my dog because he lives with me here at college and he usually has all of my attention when I'm at home so he doesn't necessarily like it when I'm trying to do something else. This one is pomegranate chicks dig it blonde moment and blonde moment I don't remember the exact notes but most people are pretty familiar with the blonde moment scent I'm not sure what chicks dig it is. This one, right off the bat, I'm getting the pomegranate, I'm sure, because that is the note that I actually know for sure what it is. But it's almost kind of fruit punchy or like a really mixed fruit scent. Because I know that Blonde Moment has several different fruits in it, and I'm sure maybe Chicks Dig It does too. But this is kind of a really complex, lots of different fruit notes in this one. Not sure exactly what they all are, but if you like sort of just a really fruity, lots of mixed fruits type of scent, that's a really good one. This one is Strawberry Pina Colada. There's the chunk for that one. And this one is so creamy. It's like a really, really creamy coconut. And then just a tiny little hint of that strawberry, but I'm mostly getting really, really creamy coconut. Really like a very creamy, milky pina colada scent. And I love that one. This one is so good. I would definitely buy like a chunk bag of that or a half pie or muffins, however that were offered in a larger quantity. I would definitely grab that one if it were available at some point. Okay, this one is Serendipity Cotton Candy Frosting. So here is that one. And again, Serendipity, I don't remember the exact notes. I think it's coconut and 
some other type of fruit. I'm not sure. I've had serendipity scents before, but I don't remember right off the top of my head exactly what that is, but I do really enjoy it. This one, I actually get the cotton candy the most at first. So just kind of a really sweet cotton candy. Let me smell the bag and see if I get any of the other serendipity notes. So in the bag, it's a little bit fruitier. Again, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but still it's dominant on the cotton candy to me. That one's really good though. Again, kind of a really creamy scent since it's so sweet from that cotton candy. This next one is Pineapple Kiwi. And this one's really good. This is a really good even, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a really good even blend of both the pineapple and the kiwi. The pineapple to me in the, <clears throat> goodness, the pineapple to me in this one is a really fresh pineapple. It's not kind of like that really sweet candy pineapple that some vendors have. Let me smell the bag and make sure that's true there as well. Yeah, this is a blend of really fresh pineapple and really fresh kiwi to me. I don't get any of those really sweet, like, candy fruit notes. So if you like the really authentic fruit scent smell, that one's really good. Couple more here. This one is Pineapple Gilligan's Brew and Suntan Lotion. And I believe, based on one of the scents that's being offered in her Mini Melters pre-order, she had said that Gilligan's Brew is something really uh, coconutty, I believe is what she said. Which I do really get the, the coconut. I really get the pineapple. This kind of smells again like a pina colada type scent to me. With just a little bit of the suntan lotion maybe, but mainly this kind of smells like a pina colada to me again. Which is really, really good. I really like that one. I may have to grab that Gilligan's Brew Mini Melter Blend. And then the last one that I have here is Cherry Lime Slushy. It's really pretty with the pink and the green. And this smells exactly like a Cherry Limeade. Like if you went to Sonic or wherever you go to get drinks like that and got a Cherry Limeade, that is exactly what this smells like and it is so good. It's really, really tart from that lime and then sweet from the cherry. Super good, exactly like a cherry limeade. And I love that scent. Definitely one of my favorites. That's another one that I would get in larger quantities if it were offered at some point. So I am extremely happy with this order. I really loved both of the samplers and I'm especially excited about this one for the summer. So I'm pretty much caught up on all of the videos that I was really behind on over the holidays. And now I'm a little bit behind again because I've gotten so many orders recently in the past few days. So that is it for this haul, but I'm just going to talk for just a second about some of the orders that I have coming up if you are interested in that. So I have the Gilmore Girls collection from Super Tarts, or the sampler, I guess, that she offered, and I was one of the ones who got that as potion packs, so I'll be filming that one soon. I have my very first Rockets order uh, that I bought with a gift card that I had bid on in a charity auction in the wax community, so I'm really excited about that order. I have a couple of samplers from the January Vintage Cheek Scents restock, so I'll probably try to split that into two videos so it's not super long. And then I ordered, when Jenny again did the samplers, but in smaller quantities, I got the spa sampler, so I'll be filming that one soon. I have the Alice in Wonderland collection from Super Tarts. I have a really small Fruit Loop sampler order from Scripted Scents. And there's one more, I think. Oh, I was lucky enough to win the opportunity to buy a mystery box from Rainbow Melts. And that just came, so I will be filming that soon as well. So lots of fun stuff coming up that I'm really excited about. I really need to get those filmed so that I can start putting things away and melting through them because I really try 
not to melt anything until I have filmed it because that's kind of my motivation to take pictures and get things filmed. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you are looking forward to some of the other things that I have coming up. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, any of that, please feel free to leave it down below. I would love to talk to you down in the comments and have a great day. Thank you again. Bye.